Okay, tonight we have a crystal test circuit. Uh, here's the circuit here. I got this off the internet. And if you Google that exactly as you see it, you'll come up with this circuit. Uh, pretty simple. You should have, chances are, have all of the components around. Uh, here's the board. <clears throat> here's my crystal socket. A couple of alligator clips. Connections to uh, to get a reading. You can use a dig uh, frequency counter. And you have uh, power for <coughs> connections for the DC power. So, we have a 10 megahertz crystal hooked up. And I'll turn the voltage up. And right around 3 volts it comes to life. You can see the uh, about 10 megahertz. Um, or <clears throat> I have a connection here for I hook up a oscilloscope. Take a look. Whoopsies. Must have been the wind. Okay. And that's what it looks like. Uh, we can do a little math the easy way. And let's see. Put this cursor over there. Right where it crosses the center radical. And bring this one in over here. There you go. Had that on the wrong setting. So that's about 10 megahertz. So this circuit works very well. Easy to construct and it's very handy. Have a bunch of crystals from various uh, EOL uh, items. And um, it's good to uh, see if they not only work, but to determine their values. So, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, may your snow shovels stay where they are for as long as they can. Have a good night.